Let's introduce the groups to you. It is group two and group four, and they will be battling it out this afternoon. Group two, we have Hermes, Judah, and Martin, and they are for the motion. The topic is emotional connections are more important than physical attraction. They are for the motion. And group four consists of Jessica, Rosie, Tessie, and Delkey. They're against the motion. Again, on the same topic, emotional connection is more important than physical attraction. So head over to our two groups right about now. We have group two and group four. And who is starting things off with group two? I am. Okay, and who is starting things off for us in group four? I am. Okay, so we'll start off with group two, and you are for the motion. Emotional connection is more important than physical attraction. I'll remind you again that the criteria the judges are going to be looking out for is the content, also your delivery, your organization, and your clarity. Group two, over to you. Um, good afternoon, co-debaters, distinguished housemate, and our honorable viewers. Good afternoon to the accurate um, timekeeper and to our judges. I'm Hermes and I'm alongside with Martin and Judah. I for the motion that I am Hermes and alongside with Judah, I for the motion that emotional connection is more important than physical attraction in a relationship. My co-debaters will say that physical attraction is more important in a relationship. But the main question we should all ask ourselves is all that glitters gold. And I will use this precious time to help you answer this question. Our opponents will say that when you meet a person for the first time, do you see their soul? It is true that we first see the physical appearance, and that guarantees you nothing. After physical appearance, you have the chance to get to know the person for who they truly are. But if you still focus on the physical, then the emo than the emotional, it makes your reason super clear that you do not have the right intentions or the right purposes to build with a person on all levels. Instead, you're just in for what you see. I'd like to touch on a major factor. Why are we in PMX Extra? Is it for physical attraction, material aspect of a person, or to have a meaningful emotional connection with them and to see if they can have a future or lifelong partners? If the physical was more important here, I wouldn't find, we wouldn't find ourselves in the PM Extra house. We all here have partners. I would like to ask my co-debaters if they are with their partners based on majority of the physical appearance. If the answer is a yes, then I put it to Rose, Tessie, Jessica, and Delkey that they are not here to find the true or real meaning of love. Instead, they are here just to find unmeaningful relationship and just to build nothing whereby this show stands for building meaningful relationships. Being in PM Extra and listening to my opponents and listening to my opponents talk all the time, they always talk of love, of how they love their partners. I've never heard them base it on physical attraction. Instead, they talk about deeper connections and how they relate with their partners emotionally. If PM Extra was based on looks, we wouldn't have life coaches, relationship expertise, or therapists coming, coming into the house to talk and teach us about our emotions, how to relate and understand our various partners beyond their physical. If it was based on looks, certain housemates would probably still be in Big Mama's house. Benefits of emotional attraction or emotional connection, having meaningful conversations with a person, on a prevent certain and gives you control over unwanted physical pleasures, prevents unserious relationships, 99% guarantee of a secure, long-lasting, happy, healthy relationship, prevents unwanted sexual desires, which can lead to unwanted pregnancy, prevention of STDs, and some believers may say this, it draws you nearer to your maker through your mind, body, and soul, gives you self-respect. If your partner came for you due to your physical appearance or attraction, you would always have this in your mind. What if he liked me because I was skinny? And then it happens that you gain a little bit of weight. You're going to have in your mind, oh, he would probably not like me for this because I'm gaining weight. This can also be something that is going to affect your mental health in the long run. Why are we here? Is it for physical attraction or to bond? Is, for the, is it for the material aspect of a person or to have a meaningful emotional connection with them and to see if they can have a future or lifelong partners with us? If the physical was more important here, we wouldn't find ourselves 
NPMHR, as I said. I am her niece, a woman that has been through a lot just by basing my focus on the fiscal attraction until I changed and started basing myself more on the emotional connection. I'm her niece, I'm in love with my current partner after coming into PMX Extra and learning the true meaning of love, sacrifice, compromise, and trust, working out differences, and to finding myself. We are for the motion that emotional connection is more important than physical attraction in a relationship. And we'd like to ask, do you still think all that glitters is gold? My answer is still a no. What is yours to my co-debaters? Thank you. It's Big Mama, Mr. Chairman, panel of judges, lovely viewers, accurate timekeeper, co-debaters, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Now imagine a world where our first impressions and initial attractions are based solely on an emotional connection, devoid of any physical attraction. Would relationships begin as effortlessly or endure as robustly? Today, we are here to debate the motion that emotional connection is more important than physical attraction in relationships. While emotional connection is undeniably crucial, I stand firmly against the motion that it is more important than physical attraction. I believe that physical attraction plays an equally vital role in the dynamics of a relationship. Now, what does it mean to be emotionally attracted to someone? Emotions we all know are feelings. Therefore, emotional connection is a positive feeling of love an individual has towards the opposite sex. Physical attraction has to do with the sight. Some will say what you see is what you get. Moving forward, in our argument, we will highlight how physical attraction serves as the initial spark that brings people together. It's biological and revolutionary um, basis, the influence of social and cultural factors, and crucial role of nonverbal communication in strengthening relationships. First and foremost, I'd like to talk about initial attraction. Physical attraction often serves as the initial spark that brings people together. Without this, many relationships might never begin, making it a crucial step. That is to say that every relationship starts with physical engagement before any other thing, making physical attraction more important in a relationship. Secondly, physical attraction is rooted in biology and evolution. Humans are naturally inclined to seek out physically appealing partners, which may be linked to perceived health and genetics fitness. I know my opponents in their minds will be thinking about the fact that looks can be altered or changed, but what they are forgetting is that if one should um, alter their physical appearance, it is because one, they're doing it for themselves, or two, it could be for their partners. Either way, it's a win-win. At the end of the day, they are happy and they will make their partners happy because they take the box when it comes to physical appearance. Their can't have an adage that goes like, so pel yerida chi hua, shawase. If you want to see the future of your wife, look at your mother-in-law. Again, no one wants to give birth to, ch to a child um, who do not have the physical looks they want to see. Therefore, everyone should be encouraged to go in for physical attraction before emotional connection because it is more important. Thirdly, sustainability. While emotional connections can deepen over time, physical attraction can help sustain a relationship's intimacy and passion. Sex plays a major role in maintaining a relationship. And according to a research by Group 4, the statistics show that um, 9 out of 10 people will be able to have sex and enjoy it if only they are physically attracted to the person they are to do it with. This is to say that if you follow emotions only and commit yourself to someone or relationship, the tendency of you not being able to enjoy sex will be very, very high. And if that should happen, the possibility of the relationship ending or being in jeopardy is also very, very high. What is then really the point of being with someone you cannot or do not enjoy sex with? Physical attraction is an important component of a, of a healthy sexual relationship, which can be a great factor in a long-term compatibility and satisfaction. Moving on. Society and culture place a significant emphasis on physical appearance. This cannot be ignored as it impacts individuals' perception and relationship dynamics. For instance, I know of a man who got married to a young lady following just emotions and forgetting looks. A few months into the marriage, the man wasn't able to go out with the wife, to social gatherings, to open spaces. Why? Because family and friends would laugh at him for making the wrong choice when it comes to looks. But all this could have been avoided if he took his time during his decision-making stage to choose someone with the looks and the same as you that a girl has, but he didn't. Thank you. 
All right, so we've heard from our first speakers on both sides for and against the motion. I do have to emphasize, though, that speakers are not supposed to be reading off a script. We've already seen the for and against motion do that, so marks will be deducted on both sides. Moving forward, speakers are not allowed to read off a script. You are freestyling off the top of your head for and against the motion. So group two, we're coming back to you, Emes. Thank you for setting uh, the pace. We'll get on to our second speaker for the motion. Oh, yes. I am here to buttress on the previous submission my colleague made and also to add up to those points she made. I would go directly to my core debaters on the other side. In particular, I would like to use Ms. Delkey as a case study for what we are trying to, the motion we are for. Now, Ms. Delkey has been in the house for all this while, and she's seen more attractive men come her way. She's um, tried to have something with them, but that didn't work because she focused more on the physical when they came. But in the last few days, we've seen a wind of change come her way. We all can attest to that. This man here, when she gave herself the chance to love him from inside out and not outside in, she's blushing already. And so this is one of the points that it's obvious, like we're saying, internal connection, emotional connection is stronger than the outer looks. Also, I'll use myself as an example. I found somebody that gives me so much joy, but prior to finding this person, she had gone through a lot of journeys in finding happiness for herself. But when she allowed herself to connect with me emotionally, we've actually built a very strong relationship that's blows on me. Finally, <laughs> there's an adage that says the beautiful ones are yet to be born. So when you want to limit everything to looks, looks, uh, we all know that that's a fallacy. Thank you. Okay, I'll continue from where my um, colleague left off and uh, being physically attracted to a partner can enhance your confidence in a relationship. Why am I saying this? Um, knowing that your partner finds you physically attractive um, can boost the relationship. Now I'll use myself as an example. Uh, I know that my man loves me. I would say he's obsessed with me. But then that's a mental illness, so <laughs> I will not use that. But when he tells me that he finds me physically attractive, it boosts my self-confidence. And it makes me laugh till my cheeks hurt. <laughs> this is some of the reason why I'll say that um, being uh, physically attracted to your uh, physical attraction in, is important in a relationship. Moreover, physical attraction includes nonverbal clues and body languages that are vital for effective communication. Yeah? It plays a crucial role in how couples connect and understand each other. Nonverbal cues such as eye contact, body language, touch, and facial expressions often convey deeper emotions. This is also a reason why I know that physical attention, attraction is important in relationship. Okay, continuing, I will say physical attraction motivates, it motivates individuals to maintain their health, fitness, and appearance, contributing to the overall well-being and relationship dynamics. Let's say, if you have a partner who is attracted to you, in a physical level, and it's at a time you met you two met. Let's say if you were slim take or even look fit, 
Knowing very well your partner finds you attractive or like it, it will motivate you or encourage you to maintain the look. And we all and we all agree that if you are fit, it is not only for your partner, but then for yourself because your health involves or at or is at stake here. Let to continue. We will add that just we will add that just for more flavor in our delivery, physical attraction can act as a glue that holds couple together, encouraging them to encouraging them to walk through issues rather than parting ways. A Nigerian man will say, who no like better thing? If you are physically attracted to your partner, even when there is a, a conflict, that alone can help you overlook whatever the problem is or even move on. <laughs> Let's say, for instance, when couples, we all know couples live together. So let's say when they are in a home where there is always an argument, you realize the point where the, um, the female try to change the look. The man, you, you are at, at, just at that instance, you will forgive her. Why? Because you are attracted to what she's wearing and you really want to go in for her because why not? The banging body is there. She dresses nice. She looks good. She's looking good. Do you understand? So you would rather go in for it because like you you forgive her that instantly. To continue with what my code partner said. Beauty they say lies in the eyes of the beholder. But we all can testify that everyone has a type and what they think will be physically appealing to them not to the same for another. But we all can agree against debate and reality that we would want to build emotionally with someone and have a much deeper meaning with the person in a relationship. Now, my co-debaters might say, you need to have a physical appealing partner to have children with forgetting that you can have a beautiful children. Would you want your children to lack the importance of genuine relationship through emotional connection? Or would you want your children to think physical appearance is all they need? Pass great value to the next generation so they don't have mistakes of some of us have had. My name is Judah, a PMS trial housemate. I'm in this house to find love. A God-fearing woman a woman that can look me into the eye to know if I'm okay. I am a man that looks beyond the physical. And I found my love in this house, who is Miss Delkey. And she thinks all this bucket is my hum In my woman, beautiful, yes. But that is all, no. She thinks all this bucket in my woman beautiful, yes, but is that all I see? No. That means that PMS Tra is here to help us build a meaningful relationship with all we all need. Would a woman be more beautiful just by their body? I would love to end yeah, but based on the points my colleagues have made, do you think all glitters are gold? No. So I believe we can park it. Are we done? Only 22 yes. seconds to go. Do you want to exhaust your time? Just 15 seconds to go. You're done? Okay. Um, to banter what Delki said, she based okay. majority. I think the time is now up. Hermes, thank you so much for your intervention. I believe we've heard from three people on in, in group two and in group four. So we can park it here. We'll even out the playing field. 
I believe three on each side. That's how it's going to go. We have one more? Okay, the third speaker, because the two speakers, we're supposed to have three speakers each. Or it was a two in one. So we allow the third speaker to go? Or oh, that is it? Okay, I believe, I believe that's the order. Okay, we've had three speakers, and it's three for each. So if you had saved the best for, for last, unfortunately, your time is in fact up for and against the motion. And the judges are here seated. Foster Romanus, your favorite comedian, as well as Martin Esiedu Data Senior on air broadcaster. Gentlemen, how are we feeling? I'm great. I'm fine. How are you too? I'm doing fantastic. I, I hope that you've picked some nuggets from our debaters today. Yeah, these are people who are already in the love pool. They've been swimming in it for a few weeks now. So at least uh, some of the things they say are relevant to the day and uh, we are picking some nuggets like you indicated from them mm, fantastic so gentlemen of course we will be judging on content delivery organization and clarity but if you have any questions for either groups that's group two or group four um ask away and then we can confer and then come back in due course foster any questions for the groups, either group four or group two? I don't really have a question, but I, I, I don't know if I can. I, I feel they, they didn't really um, argue their points well. I think they were more focused on reading what they had on paper. So it didn't make it really argumentative. And I felt that you, you couldn't really express it like how I expected it to go, because I feel that on, a, on, on the face value, I thought you people had a very, um, an advantageous position than them, but you people couldn't take that advantage. And even though their first speaker tried, the other two didn't really help her. Foster, you mean for group four? Um, for Both this, groups. This, this group what? Group four. Group four. Yes. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm just talking about how they, they, they okay. presented their, their, their points. Group four had a very advantageous position because of they going against the motion, that emotional. Every time you say emotion, what comes to mind is emotional damage, you know, but then. <laughs> They could argue their point out. She started well, but her, her co-debaters co -debaters didn't really help her out. I, I, yeah, so that's a little I can say. Mm. Can I say a little bit? Please? Sure. Um, so when we were asked to um, come up with this, we were not told that we we're going to say it off head. So then we um, were to do it. Um, this way mm -hmm. and so most of our points in here we have valid points whereby if we were to say it in here would have been very great I get your point, but then it's a debate Right, so you can prepare mm -hmm. You know your point if I am to stand at your position I may not even need a, a sheet because I went to do the Research myself, so I know what I saw I've read it over and over and over and I have to prove that I am confident with my standing here, I can argue for you and win. I can argue for them and win without even going to do any. So it's not about what you have to read. It's about how you present it for it to sound convincing. I hope you understand what I mean. Yes. And that I don't think you, you, you did that for me. Yeah. All right. Thank you for that, Foster Martin. Do you have any comments yeah. on the presentation, the content, all of that? Yes. Uh, primarily, I think uh, a debate is to simply convince, in this situation, we the judges, why your position is stronger than the other. So in, you don't necessarily need to be right or wrong. You just need to convince us that this position that you hold, whether for or against, is superior to the other. Yeah. And so although you have all shared some sort of um, you know, an opinion, like Foster is saying, it wasn't as punchy. It wasn't, you know, straight to get us to believe that your position is stronger than the other. But you've done very well with the background, the research, and then the way some of you even made your positions very personal. Uh, you could tell that some research has gone into it. So kudos to you. I'm sure uh, at the end we'll, we'll settle on which side wins. Thank you. Mm. All right, gentlemen, fantastic. Uh, group two and group four, well done to all of you uh, as well.